What's up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dawson's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a Friday. Whew, haven't made a video in a while. Apologize about that. I've been busy, I've been out of town, been wild. Uh, having a lot of fun though. I had a lot of real good time showing off my boy's reef tank. By the way, I was completely sober making that video. That was my boy. I had not seen him in, I don't know, almost a year. I haven't showed his tank off. I love the, uh, love the comments on there though. Thought it was real cool. So. Uh, yeah, glad to show my dude's reef, man. I got him in the hobby. It was cool. But, uh, so yeah, we're trying to get him a YouTube channel, but we'll see. Here's what's going on. Uh, I want to talk today. I was actually in the, uh, Fish Tank TV chat last night. And I had some people asking me about, uh, gravel. Well, I happen to have, um, gravel, a bunch of different types of gravel right now. So I figured I'd talk about it. This is gravel I got that came with the, uh, the 125. I've got a nice little, uh, trick to show you in a second here. But I want to show kind of my thoughts on the gravel. Um, a lot of people ask me about Eco Complete. I actually don't, uh, look, I've used it once. I'm not gonna say it's bad product. Um, for those of you um, who you know don't want the, the mess of dirt and want just that real pristine tank, those kind of, you know, I don't know. I, it's obviously not my style because my tanks are all dirted, but uh, you know, if you want that Eco Complete's good, but I just want to talk today about gravel. Uh, and just kind of the different sizes and what I recommend and, and how it would work. Not dirt, just gravel. We'll touch a little on dirt. But for me, this gravel right here is a little too large. Uh, I would only use this kind of stuff um, in like a goldfish tank or maybe a big cichlid tank. But in a cichlid tank, I probably wouldn't keep too many plants. It's another story, but uh, a little too large. This gravel right here is my kind of go-to. Uh, this is I really like this stuff. I think it's great. I think it's a little too large. I don't know if you can see the granular size of that. It's a little too big for my liking. But you got to think like this, folks. Think like a plant. Um, you know, could you push if you were a little tiny root? Could you push down through this large stuff? You know, it'd be easier to push a root down through this stuff. So that's kind of uh, what I would say. I don't use sand, and I'd love to hear your opinion on sand. Some people love it. Some people don't. Uh, I don't use sand. I think it's too fine of a grade. So this is the kind of the size gravel I recommended. And before I use dirt, I use this stuff. I used a real thick layer of gravel. Um, also, when you're setting up your tanks, I think it's important to use like 75% of the gravel that you have and then like put your plants in and then kind of fill in around the plants with the extra gravel. I think that's important. Um, to do also use natural colors i don't know I, it's personal opinion um you know get your colored gravel on out of there i mean it's happens we've all done it i had a tank with pink gravel and uh black gravel because i thought it was sweet so uh you know just get your natural colors get your dark your browns you need lighter colors are good too uh actually the best gravel i have is downstairs in the um the one one of my rainbow tanks it's a little smaller than this the ideal size for me is about the size of a bb gun bb i think that's the best but uh i want to show you this trick right here though check this out this can be done i'm using a uh a filter um container from a uh this is off of an eheim you can use a flu ball but uh this is to separate big gravel from little and i think it's a pretty cool trick. so check this out you just scoop it in here load it all up I'm gonna get it all in there and I'm gonna take it back over to that piece of paper and kind of show you all how it's done. So check it. So what you do to remove your big gravel from your little gravel, you take it, it's not too easy to do while holding the camera and shaking it, but you shake it on out of here and uh, that's how you're gonna separate your gravel out. It's kind of a cool trick, every now and then you gotta like kind of, you know, make sure it's not uh, getting in the holes, but, and it, you know, it's easier to do with two hands, but just kind of shake it off like that. And then this is actually uh, fluorite, which I think is a pretty good gravel. In fact, I use the uh, lateralite fluorite mix uh, in my original 125 above the dirt. So I used, you get the idea. Um, so I actually used uh, the clay balls kind of thing above the dirt. So uh, plants absorb, this is from Greg Moran at Seachem, all right? Seachem is the bomb, they know what they're doing. Uh, said plants absorb four to 400 times more nutrients through their roots. So you're really gonna wanna do it right with the gravel. Um, I use red clay. I would, I would suggest using red clay um, in your gravel because it makes that iron that I think it's, I don't want to get too scientific, but the FE3 positive, I think it is, is the one that's able to be absorbed by the roots. So, um, you know, good size gravel here. 
uh, that's it's a really good size um, you know, fluorite's good stuff. I mean, Seachem makes, Seachem makes great products. So I've never used a mono soil. Uh, I talked about it a long time ago. Never got around to it. Two young kids, apologize. But uh, someday that'll get done when I'm doing this full time. But uh, so yeah, I'm having some fun with it. I wanted to show you guys some gravel. This stuff, you can get it anywhere. Go for it if you can't find the better stuff. The fluorite, you get what you pay for. I think it's pretty good stuff. I wouldn't recommend the big stuff. Eco Complete, I'd like to hear your opinion on it. I'm not a huge fan of it. But, um, yeah, that's what we're doing. So that's my go-to. If I've got it, I'll use this. I'm obviously going to be doing this trick. This trick is pretty sweet. Love it. Shake it. You can use a flu wall. You can also, I mean, use whatever you got. I mean, if you've got like a spaghetti strainer or something, but that'll that'll make separating out gravel a little easier. Might as well show you the greenhouse. So this is what's fun, folks. So I got uh, I got the awful uh, Friday. I actually worked a little bit today. Um, back to the greenhouse though, and here's what we're doing. Uh, I left Steve's tank alone. You all will be proud of me for that. So Steve's tank looking pretty baller in there. Um, trying to shut this greenhouse door and I moved the 125 in here. So my project, because I got a babysitter over here, is I'm going to build this all up. Same deal as this. Slide this over. Um, so I have the 40 over here and then uh, the 125 here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to hang out in the rain in the greenhouse. I'm going to get that tank cleaned up too and show you more of it. So 125 is out here, folks. We're excited about it. Happy Friday. Let me know your thoughts on gravel. I'd love to hear it. Light.